Here we have Solana, Solanas versus uh, the dollar being requested by Mr. Mark Harrison. And uh, it looks like we did hit our risk parameter, or at least my risk parameter for yesterday, which was closing below 200 bucks, of which this one did close below actually 190 at 187 spot 85. So with that said, am I looking for a little bit of sideways on the short-term timeframes and then very likely a bit of a correction? Probably yes. However, short-term timeframes are still good here. So this one is is quite uh is a little bit more difficult to read to be quite honest with you but the setup is still actually there for a short term time frame to be fair 182 and a quarter would be the invalidation point for this one be getting a correction a corrective phase back down to about 150 maybe maybe 160 somewhere between there but for right now this actually still does hold for what it's worth if you do want to be a little bit more aggressive with it of course it's not financial advice not financial advisor but in this case right here it is technically still there. Here's what the uh, sorry the two day looks like. Did we close that one yesterday? We did. Two days a little bit in a toppy formation, bit of a doji dildo right there. Uh, three day not so much actually. That one just closed as well. And five day is looking like what? Uh, no no call on something like that. Uh, so for for what it's worth right now, I'd actually give it a chance um, to be fair. But if I'm running off the daily, I'd be looking for a correction first. And I do happen to favor the daily in this case. See what momentum also does over here say. They agree with that and kind of help out that bias for right now. Uh, hourly is going to be, well, up as long as above uh, 186 and a quarter. Four hours going to be down as long as we're below uh, 208.85. 12 hours going to show down as long as below 197 and 65 cents. And daily is going to show down as long as below 204 and a half. So here's what I feel comfortable saying. Probably would be looking for a bounce in the short-term time frames. Probably does bounce back up to like 203, 204, maybe even 205. But here's the thing. As long as this one uh, does fail below about 210 on the daily, I am looking for that to just be your next lower high in the short-term time frames. And then very likely play out that correction um, coming into next week. Again, don't don't confuse correction with like a reversal call like on the macro. This is obviously still very long term bullish. This is a fucking good chart. The weekly is powerful as all hell. Um, I would be a fool to call something like this uh, bearish in its current stature. Now, if the weekly closed below like 150 or so, hey, yeah, I could look for a deeper correction down below, maybe down down below 100 bucks. Um, coming into like October or something. But for right now, uh, I give it the benefit of the doubt, mostly based off of its prior history. And uh, and if I'm looking at the four hour right here, 182 is where I'd be looking towards. Short term, I do think it bounces regardless whether you're bullish or bearish. The question is, does the bounce fail to get back above? You know, if you're using a daily, where, where would I say? Or sorry, if you're using a 12 hour, where would I say? The bounce fails to get back above about 205 to 206. At that point, I'd really be looking for that to just be a failed bounce and very likely does correct first before anything else. Um, targets down to like 150 to 160 or so, somewhere between there. Hopefully that was helpful. And there you go for Solana.